Now to some breaking news just into our newsroom tonight. A former police officer at Central Connecticut State University who claims she was sexually assaulted by a fellow officer has filed a lawsuit against the university. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne is joining us right now live. He is on the New Britain campus with the latest details tonight. Roger, what are you learning? Well, you know, Mark and Aaron, this lawsuit is 40 pages long and it reiterates some of the victim's earlier complaints. But, you know, it also raises new concerns about the behavior of two CCSU police officers who are now accused in this lawsuit of having sex with students here on campus. Here's what we know right now. Back in 2016, a female CCSU officer told a superior that she had been raped repeatedly by a fellow officer. Now, despite the seriousness of those accusations, the police chief declined to investigate, according to an independent report that the university released in 2018. Today, the victim filed a complaint in U.S. District Court that named the university and several officers as defendants. According to that lawsuit, these rapes were the inevitable byproduct of a hostile work environment to which CCSU subjected her. That environment infected the entire force. CCSU admitted their police department dropped the ball and they changed the organization's reporting policy and also fired the accused rapist. But the lawsuit also makes new accusations that two CCSU police officers had inappropriate sexual relationships with CCSU students between 2014 and 2017, and that another female CCSU officer was sexually harassed after joining the department in 2014. Now, tonight, CCSU's president addressed the lawsuit in a written statement. Zoma Toro said... Some of the issues have been addressed, but she also writes, I want to express my concern and surprise by some new sexual misconduct accusations against CCSU police officers. We are reviewing the new allegations and will promptly investigate them. Now, I mentioned this lawsuit is 40 pages long. You can read the entire thing right now. There are a whole lot of incredible accusations if you go to the Channel 3 app or WFSB.com. Reporting live tonight in New Britain, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.